So maybe you are interested in starting to improvise a little bit, or at least understand how to improvise a little bit, particularly maybe in a country, rock, blues, you know, folk kind of uh, format. Well, in order to do that, you really need to be familiar with what is called the minor pentatonic scale. Sounds very technical, and yet it kind of is in the popular lexicon. So you may have heard people referring to pentatonic scales or minor pentatonics. So many rock guitar riffs and famous riffs and famous songs are based on this, and it kind of almost is the language of rock guitar, uh, minor pentatonics. And then what we'll also cover a variation on the minor pentatonic, which we call the blues scale. So we are going to learn the E blues and E minor pentatonic scale today. Okay, so first, before we talk too much else about it, let's put the E minor pentatonic up here. And we're gonna play it, and then I'll talk about it just a little bit more. So you can see that every string is played open, and then we either play the third fret or the second fret. So I would recommend one of two fingerings. Either use your third finger on the third frets and your second finger on the second frets, or you can shift up and do two second finger on the third frets and first on the second frets. I would not switch one finger between three and two, because then when you're doing some riffs later on, they can get kind of confused. I'm actually just gonna do three and two. Okay, so I'm gonna play it up and down one time. back down so what makes it a pentatonic scale the normal major scale kind of the foundation of most music you're interested in playing is the major scale do re mi fa so la ti do which has seven different notes in it that's why we have seven different letters to describe music not a coincidence that's why the pentatonic scale, however, only use, uses five, five different notes. And uh, there is the major and the minor pentatonic, but we're going to focus on the minor pentatonic for now, because as you'll see later when we get into some more theory stuff, when you learn the minor pentatonic, you're almost learning the major too, but let's get ahead of ourselves a little bit. Let's just say that the minor pentatonic is probably the, the best place to start. But you're thinking, there's so many more notes than five that I just played. Yeah, but I only played five different notes. And then I went up into what are called different octaves, higher versions of the same notes. So the notes I played were E, G, A, B, D. And then it basically starts over. E, G, A, B, D, E. And why did I put this top note in parentheses? Because we kind of already got back to E again, which is usually where we stop a scale. Like any kind of E scale, we would play until we hit E again. But this is kind of like beginning another round of octaves through the scale, and it's right here. So most of the time when people play the scale, they'll include this note on there too. All right, so I would pause the video, play the scale up and down a little bit, get really used to it, maybe try it with third finger and second finger, and first finger and second finger, see what you like better. You'll probably wanna just be able to do it both ways anyway. And then come back and we will talk about the blues scale, and we'll introduce that one. So the blues scale is technically not a pentatonic, um, although as you'll see later, it, it gets a little dicey, but technically it's not because we're gonna add one more note to it. And the note we're gonna add, technically it's a sharp four, a flat five, we'll get into what that means. That's not fingerings, that's just numbering the notes in a scale. But you can see that we're just adding a note. Uh, it is a single note, but we have two instances of it since our scale is spanning two times through the scale. Okay, so the blues scale sounds like this. That scale is used in so many songs. I mean, this isn't exactly the right key, but if I was thinking of just the iconic Smoke on the Water, I'm playing it up here, but really the notes are right out of that blues scale. Or what if I switch to D blues just for a second?
every note in that riff is straight out of the D blues scale. So, and even country music, it uses, you know, you hear like a... We'll cover some riffs like that in our endings and some other videos we'll do later. Um, suffice it to say, this scale is used a lot. So I would get very familiar with the E minor pentatonic and the E blues scale. And we will use them in our beginning improvisation lessons. Um, and then once you get comfortable with those, I, I'm gonna do a different lesson, which is called the movable minor pentatonics and the movable blues scale. So I'll leave this one here and let you practice that one and maybe even kind of memorize it a little bit. And then you'll be in good shape whenever we are ready to do our beginning improvisation lessons.